What is up, Octonation? Romeo Power Technology, leading provider of battery technology to the commercial EV market, to list on the New York Stock Exchange through reverse merger, through merger with RMG Acquisition. Romeo Power Technology has entered definitive merger. Upon closing, the combined company will remain listed on the New York Stock Exchange of the new ticker RMO. Romeo Power raises eight. $384 million through the business combination, including $150 million fully committed pipe anchored to institutional investors as well as strategic investors, the Heritage Group, and Republican Services. Funding provides for capacity expansion R&D to further develop the next generation of battery systems technologies for commercial vehicles. Borg Warner is a strategic investor and joint venture partner of Romeo. The Heritage Group is a strategic investor, pipe participant, and recycling partner of Romeo Power. Republic Services is a strategic investor in the pipe and in, intends to enter into strategic alliance with Romeo. Republic Services is big uh, recycling, like city city owned company for recycling and trash and all that. That's big. Proformer equity value combined company to approximately $1.33 billion. Transaction is expected to close in the fourth quarter of 2020. It's great. Special purpose. Today announced definitive agreement upon the closing transaction. Yep. And the industry leading technology company focused on designing and manufacturing lithium ion batteries, modules, packs for a commercial electric vehicle. So they're focused commercial. They can do other stuff too, I've read. Through its industry-leading energy-dense battery modules and packs, it enables large-scale sustainable transportation by delivering safe, long-lasting batteries for the short charge times. The company has completed construction of development of a 7 gigawatt per hour capable manufacturing facility in Los Angeles, California, with state-of-the-art manufacturing operations designed to scale for high growth. Romeo Power's core product offering service serves the battery electric vehicle BEV medium duty short haul and heavy duty long haul truck marking truck markets as well as specialty trucking and buses nice as the era of gas powered vehicles continues to climb Romeo admissions is to be an industry leader in electrification of the global transportation industry and to be commercial electric vehicle energy produce producer of the today and tomorrow Lionel Selwell Jr. The CEO of Romeo committed, we are thrilled to announce this transaction with RMG. It has allowed us to further expand our business and continue innovating and developing new products. Romeo powers proprietary battery systems and patented technologies. They have patents, great, that we have developed over the last four years and deliver di differentiated energy density, safety, efficiency, and cost savings. The need for an economically viable shift towards greener methods of transportation is evident, and we look forward to playing a critical role in the electrification of commercial vehicles globally. Robert Menenci, CEO of RMG, said, hey, since our IPO in early 2019, we have evaluated nearly 150 investment opportunities in search of a company with industry-leading disruptive technology in the industrial or energy sector. Romeo Power stood out as a differentiated leading battery technology company for commercial electric vehicles, a sector that we think is an inflection point and poised for unprecedented growth. Yes. Upon completion of the merger, Robert, along with Philip Kaysen, president COO of RMG, are expected to join the board of Romeo, cont contributing their significant business, financial, legal, and public board experience to the governments and operations of the company. Romeo Power's energy technology has positioned it to lead the electrification of global commercial vehicle market globally. The total address, addressable market, TAM, for commercial vehicles is estimated to be approximately $665 billion with over $17 million, million dollars in vehicles sold. 17 million vehicles sold annually and steady growth expected to continue as global economic growth fuels the need for more commercial vehicles. In North America and Europe, the TAM is estimated to be approximately $225 billion, with over 7 million vehicles sold annually. Romeo has a diversified and high-quality customer base today and represents an estimated nearly 70% of the North American Class 8 market. The company is varying forms of agreements with customers enhancing visibility 
into the company's further growth, including 300 million of current contracted revenue. It's good. So they've got 300 million alone in contracted revenue. That's big. That's probably the public services. They're de-risking commercialization through a strategic partnership with global leaders in vehicle component technologies, including Borg Warner. I don't know anything about them, but that's big. A global tier one automotive supplier. Oh, okay. So this is cool. This is like a middleman play for electronic vehicles. So Borg, you know, builds electronic vehicles. They get their batteries from Romeo. Sweet. In May 2019, Borg made a $50 million strategic investment in Romeo with a goal of amplifying its growing portfolio of our alternative propulsion products for hybrid and electric vehicles. The investment and partnership reflect significant third-party validation of Romeo's power technology and allow the company to leverage Borg Warner's customer base, supply chain, and manufacturing experience in order to accelerate growth globally and bolster operational execution in a highly capital efficient manner. Borg congratulates Romeo on the achievement of an important milestone, said Frederick, president and CEO of Borg. We look forward to the continuing to work with Romeo on the expansion of their business and global growth. Global growth, that's big. This is not just America. They're building in America, but they're going worldwide for the joint venture. In addition, Romeo has a significant partnership with the Heritage Group, a leading environmental and recycling services. Okay, so the Heritage Group does does that too. Through its corporate venture arm, HG Ventures was an early investor in them in the pipe, and as partner of the part of the partnership, they will support the co-development of a battery reuse and recycle facility. That's good for their batteries near or at the end of their life. Heritage Group has also committed to the pilot program, expected a result of in converting 500 plus diesel trucks in its fleet to BEVs using Romeo's power batteries between 2021 and 2025. So these guys are ready. Republic Services, the second largest recycling and waste disposal company in the United States with a fleet of more than 16,000 vehicles, is another strategic pipe investor and intends to enter into strategic alliance with them. Fantastic. Several of the world's largest logistic companies have announced their commitments to electric vehicles, fleets, and just about all major OEMs have announced electric vehicle programs, Lionel said. The team of experts at Romeo, which has experience across electric vehicle aerospace, cool, and broader technology industries, is excited about the opportunity to tap into this quick growing market as we help enable the electrification of commercial vehicle fleet globally for decades to come. The business combination values Romeo 1.3 which is expected to be completed in the year. Private placement common stock commits additional investors as well as strategic investors from the, the Pipers. Additional information about the proposed transaction include a copy of the merger. Goldman Sachs is running, Paul Hastings LLP, Morgan Stanley. This is a good deal. Conference call happening, sounds like right now. <laughs> to listen to it, call the number. Might be too late. Well, yeah. Well, we got about a half hour, I guess. So call that. And remember, if you want to listen to it about them, I'm going to get go ahead and get this out for y'all. 